section formula we have done this you only need to get the standard when we studied the point intersecting the line internally here we will study both we will study internally as well as externally means point cutting the line internally and point cutting the line externally for internally we knew the formula the coordinates x would be now this was about internal division when we talk about external division first of all let's try to understand what does it mean we have this line and we have this point this point is on the line it means this point is splitting this line internally now same line in the same direction if we have a point say here it means this point is splitting this line externally if we extend this line till this point my own line was ab and now it is ac now we call this point point c is splitting this line externally in case of internal division ratio was m ratio n in case of external division n would be replaced by negative n then the formula would be nx2 minus nx1 over n minus n and y2 minus n and y1 over n minus n and this would be mz2 minus mz1 over n minus n. So this is internal division, this is external division. Let's try to quickly solve the question which will give us better understanding. This one here it says find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining the point 1, negative 2, 3 and 3, 4, negative 5 in the ratio of 2 to 3 internally as well as externally. Now let's take internally first. Here m is to n is 2 is to 3. Coordinate x would be so this will come to 9 over 5, this will come to 2 over 5, and this will come to negative 1 over 5. Now, same in case of external m is to negative n means 2 is to negative 3. So this will be now you see. In case of internal division, the point of coordinate which is split the line joining these two points will be 9 over 5, comma, 2 over 5, comma, negative 1 over 5. Means this point will be splitting the line joining these two points in the ratio of 2 is to 3 internally. This point here, which is negative 3, negative 14, and 19, this point will be splitting this line joining these two points in the ratio of 2 is to 3 externally. Now let's do a quick calculation and see is this point actually falls outside this line joining these two points? Let's see. We know that when it intersects internally, the coordinates are when it splits internally in that case distance from this point to this point plus distance from this point to this point should be equal to distance from this point to this point suppose this is line if suppose it splits here then distance from this point to this point distance from this point to this point should be equal to this distance. If you try to find out distance from this point to this point, let's take this point and say A, this as B, this as C. So AC would be, you know the formula, AC will come out to be 4 root 26 over 5. And BC would be 6 root 26 over 5. And AB would be 2 root 26. 
AC plus BC comes out to be 2 root 26 equals to AB. So this was the internal division. Let's look into external division. When it splits externally, the point of coordinates are negative 3, negative 14 and 19. Okay. So let's find out distance from A to its take this as D. Let's find out distance from A to D, B to D and then A B we already know. Let's find out A D first. A D would be, if you calculate this, this will come to 4 root 26 and B D would be 6 root 26 and A B we have already calculated which is 2 root 26. Now you see, suppose this is my A B, A B which is 2 root 26. Now AB says 4 root 26, BD says 6 root 26. It means this point D does not fall on this line because A to D is more than AB, B to D is more than AB. It means this point falls somewhere outside this line. AD is 4 root 26, which is this much, and BD is this much, 6 root 26. Now, if you see, BD minus AD, which is 6 root 26 minus 4 root 26, gives you 2 root 26. Now, I think you better understand what is external division. This line, this point falls outside this line but in the same direction. Alright, 